Hello parents, this is Mrs. T with Mrs. T's Treasuries of Books. And I just wanted to come on and say thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. I appreciate all of the encouragement that I have received and the feedback that I have gotten from you. A lot of you have reached out to me on Facebook and let me know that you have been enjoying the channel. Your kids have been enjoying the channel. And I just want to thank you for that encouragement and that feedback. Uh, this channel was created for both kids and parents. But as many of you know or may not know, uh, YouTube has a new policy in place where they have a kid feature, a kid safety feature on where if there's any videos that are specifically kid content, I need to uh, make sure that that video is is set to a kid content video. And when I do that, what happens is it's, it takes off uh, notifications. It takes off the ability for comments. So the engagement that I was hoping that we would be able to have for each of the videos, um, we're not able to do that on that particular video. So uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to just kind of come and talk to you a little bit about what you have seen thus far and the rationale behind Mrs. T's Treasury of Books. What I wanted to do was I wanted to create a channel where I could model for you as the parents uh, some of the things that uh, we, we need to do in order to really help kids with literacy acquisition. And so the way that we do that is through mini lessons. And mini lessons is a really great way to do that because Throughout a mini lesson, and when you plan a mini lesson, what you're doing is you are targeting one specific strategy or skill in literacy that you want to be able to teach your child. And so mini lessons generally should take uh, no more than 15 minutes. Uh, I know that sometimes they go a little longer, but I would say the maximum would be about 20 minutes. And so I have been modeling many lessons and specific strategies uh, during the read alouds with the kids in the hopes that that would evoke conversation and discussions and maybe some additional uh, follow-up work would happen as a result of that. So one of the best thing, ways that I have found to be able to maximize the mini lesson is I love using picture, picture books, number one, because they're short and a lot of times you can read the entire book within that 15 minutes and also target that specific skill or strategy that you want to model for your child. I also um, like to use the mini lessons as a way for me to use modeling, coaching, and application with the kids. So a great, a great teaching strategy is model coach apply. And that's where you model the concept and then you coach the child through that concept, and then you um, have the child independently go on and, and demonstrate application and understanding of that particular skill or strategy that's been taught. So I just wanted to follow up and talk a little bit about what I, what I would do as a follow-up to the mini lesson with the Pies from Nowhere story that I wrote, uh, read, the biography of Georgia Gilmore. And so as you know, if you watch the video, the strategy that I was modeling was the questioning strategy and how we as good readers uh, should be asking questions before, during, and after reading. And that is a strategy that we use to build comprehension, to monitor comprehension, and to help with the understanding of a particular piece of text. So what I do, do after I um, use that strategy and model it is then I have an opportunity to work with the kids and then do some coaching. And so what I have here is um, a wonder book. And I want to show you how I use my wondering question book. And so with the wondering question book, what I did was I took those questions that I had 
for the book that I read. And I'm going to put these glasses on because it's time to do that. <laughs> so the book, um, Pies from Nowhere by D. Rometto. And I just put the date down so that I can just keep track of the literacy work that I've done. And so here I have the before questions. And when I was reading the book, I had those before questions written. And then here in the green, I had the answers that I was able to find from within the text for these uh, particular questions. And questioning is really good because we know that when kids are able to um, come up with their own questions, then it helps them to be more focused and more engaged readers. And so they're reading with a purpose. And, um, you know, so it's, it's great when they have raised their own questions and that interest level in the reading text actually is enhanced because now they are reading with the purpose of trying to find out what the answers are to those questions that they value and feel are important. And so then I had those during, during questions as well. And so um, after the during questions, I put down uh, the answers that I found to those questions that I had written while I was reading. And then uh, these are the after questions. So basically what these are, are those questions that I may have raised before reading or during reading, but I did not find the answers to them within this particular text. So those are questions that in the future, if I'm really interested in the subject or the topic, or then I'll go back and that might be an opportunity for a child to then do some additional research, do some additional reading about a particular person or an event. And so that's how the learning and the lesson is actually extended. And so then that creates an opportunity for some independent work that your child can be doing uh, based on interest. So that, that helps with uh, creating interest-based learning as well. And so those questions that I did not uh, find the answers to were, I wonder if the black cooks only cooked for the black customers and were there white cooks that cooked for the white customers. So that might be something where, you know, your child might want to do some additional research about the civil rights uh, movement and, and, and what was happening in that era in restaurants and maybe do some investigative work around that. And then the other question I had is, I wonder if Georgia op ever opened up a restaurant. So maybe that would be room to go to another source. And you could talk about different sources where they might be able to find the answer to that particular question. And then I wonder what other battles would have to be fought and would Georgia participate in those battles as well. So we know she participated in the Montgomery bus boycott, but was there any other significant event in um, history that Georgia actually participated in as well. And again, continuation of the learning and maybe an opportunity for some more independent learning. So that's the modeling uh, aspect of this. And so then with the coaching aspect of this, what I would do is then take another book. And since that was a biography, I may select another biography or have my child decide what biography he or she uh, would like to read. And then let's look at, okay, this is a biography. So together, I'm going to ask my child to come up with some before reading uh, questions. So this is a biography on Hank Aaron, Brave in Every Way. And Hank Aaron was a you know baseball player. And so what are the questions that you have about Hank Aaron before reading? So post-its are a great tool to have during uh, your literacy lesson. So maybe have your child come up with two before reading questions about Hank Aaron or whatever topic they, um, you know, want to read about or biography that they want to read. And then the same thing, the during reading, have your child come up with some during reading questions and then have your child come up with some, um, and, and, and then, you know, see if your child during reading can find some of the answers to these questions. And then that's why I use the multiple different color post-it notes. So that's coaching, but in coaching, you are going alongside your child. And so 
that might be an opportunity for you to talk about forming questions and some good questions, um, you know, how, what, when, why, where, those type of questions and how you formulate, you know, some really good questions uh, while reading. So that might be an opportunity for a discussion on, you know, how to formulate good questions and, and then, you know, also how to maybe preview a book and just in the preview and just from looking at the illustrations that may raise some questions for you or your prior knowledge about a particular individual or an event that could raise some questions for you. So really just come up with that, you know, that little, that discussion about, you know, questions and also, you know, the question strategy. And then after your child comes up with the questions, again, you know, read together. You can do a, a paired reading experience, a shared reading experience where, you know, you both participate in the reading experience and you're kind of side by side, just you're coaching your child in uh, utilizing this strategy. And so then afterwards, um, the same thing, you know, you can use a notebook such as this, a, a uh, wonder and question notebook where you you look at your post-its and you look at and discuss, you know, what did you learn? Were any of your questions answered? Are there any questions that you still have that are remaining? And um, how might you go about finding the answers to these questions? Are, are these questions that you um, value enough to continue to study and research and, you know, find the answers to? So then that's how you coach your child. And then the application would be that you would then, you know, send your child off or, you know, at another time you would have your child, you know, select a book of choice. Uh, and it could be a biography or some kind of other informational text and have your child use the strategy and ask your child, you know, during their independent time to utilize that strategy and go and use their notebook and, you know, set it up the way that works best for you. And I like to date it and put the title and then go through the process on their own. And then that's a real way, great way, an authentic way for you to assess, you know, how your child is doing with the utilization of the questioning strategy. Uh, it's an opportunity for you to, to further um, develop an authentic literacy experience and, and decide what your next steps are going to be based on how you're informed in this particular, in, in this particular uh, book. So, you know, I just wanted to come and follow up because like I said, on the other videos, there's no opportunity for engagement between you and I, and I wanted us to be able to have this opportunity to actually engage in these type of discussions because I think these discussions are very important. I wanted to see, you know, what your ideas are, what your takeaways are, uh, if you have any questions, any further questions about, you know, why this is a great, you know, tool and, and instructional practice. And, and so I just wanted to get on here and, and create a video specifically for you as parents. And the other thing that I'm really wanting to do is I'm, I'm really wanting to kind of create a community around this literacy work. And so I was thinking about creating a, a Facebook group specifically about, you know, how to maximize your uh, teaching and learning experiences, how to create opportunities for your child to do more independent strategic uh, literacy work and then have a way for you to assess really easily and use, you know, authentic experiences to drive your instruction for what your next steps will be. And so that way it's, it's really specific to, of course, you know, the needs of your child. And so I wanted to, you know, kind of create a community where we could do that and exchange ideas and like a think tank, because I know that, you know, this, this work is, is, is a work of love. It's a, it's, but it can be uh, laborious. And so, you know, I'm trying to create a community so that no one has to do this in isolation and, and we can encourage each other and support each other. So if that is something that you would be interested in, please let me know in the comments section of this video. And I hope that 
this was a good and valuable use of your time. I look forward to hearing from you and I look forward to continuing to model these uh, practices with you and your kids. And once again, I just want to thank you for subscribing to this channel. And if it's been beneficial to you and there are other people that you think that would benefit from this, by all means, I'm, I'm asking that you would share this on your various uh, social media platforms as well. So I just want to say thank you. And I, uh, again, I, I so appreciate you taking the time to stop by and uh, you have a, have a great day.